Aibo and uh, good evening. Uh, I think we should start now. Uh, welcome to another Lighthouse Talk uh, sessions that we um, actually hold in support of research students to uh, advise them and hopefully be of help to them in many ways. So today we have uh, Dr. Naini Gunawadana, who is uh, our senior assistant librarian at the University of Morocho Library. So uh, I would like to welcome her and also thank her for uh, giving us I mean, like your time and uh, uh, expertise uh, in also suggesting the topic. Uh, so it's quite an interesting topic. So let me briefly introduce uh, Dr. Nayani. Uh, she's, uh, she started her life in, uh, with a BA yeah, in uh, business statistics from University of Sri Javadhanapura. And uh, while on the way to the PhD from University of Colombo, uh, she has um, postgraduate diplomas in uh, information systems from SLIT and uh, again, MS in information systems, uh, as well as masters in library and information science from University of Kalania. Uh, also holds a diploma in counseling um, from University of, University of Sri Jayavadanapura. So she's a counselor, uh, career advisor and counselor at the University of Moratua. And interesting is uh, she indicates that she has been start, uh, practicing this uh, bibliotherapy, uh, healing with literature, uh, from about 2011. So it's uh, very interesting. And um, so one of the things is these times, so thanks for those who have joined for this session. But if um, we know power cuts are there and difficulties are there, uh, but please um, do note that if you happen to face a power cut and misses parts of it, uh, this whole uh, presentation is recording, it will be recorded and be uploaded in uh, Bulgaria Plains at the University of Moritwa site. Uh, so um, anyone can come at any time and then later on listen to the listen to this lecture. So with that uh, introduction and uh, thanking again, uh, over to you, Dr. Naini, to uh, heal us with literature. Uh, thank you so much for your nice introduction, sir. Uh, it's a great pleasure for me to have this opportunity. Uh, so very good evening to all of you. Uh, Bibliotherapy or book therapy uh, is a therapeutic method based on books. Here, uh, we are going to discuss some important areas of that. Firstly, let's look at what bibliotherapy is. In creative bibliotherapy, bibliotherapy journey, process and techniques, then creative bibliotherapy and mindfulness, mindfulness in bibliotherapy, focusing on your research, then how to avoid internet addiction of our children using creative bibliotherapy as parents is a burning problem in these days with technological improvement, then uh, bibliotherapy is prescription. So then when we have uh, some symptoms, we see the doctor here, uh, we can see medical prescription as well. Uh, using bibliotherapy, we can uh, build, we can make book prescription as well. Then uh, what does research say about bibliotherapy? Finally, bibliotherapy treatment for COVID and cancer patients. So we are discussing these things in this hour. Uh, first, uh, we'll see what is bibliotherapy. So actually, uh, bibliotherapy is the use of selected readings uh, as therapeutic tools in medicine and psychiatry. So it may have fictions, non-fictions, uh, translations, then audio video materials, electronic books, uh, or any other materials. So uh, bibliotherapy has been discussed as a treatment from 19th century in Greece. So bibliotherapy is a Greek word, uh, biblin meaning books, Therapia meaning to cure or therapy. Therefore, bibliotherapy is known as a treatment through books. Okay, so uh, if you can remember the day we read the first letter of alphabet with your mother, father or another special person, from that day we started to read, doesn't it? 
we started to write we started to think hmm, through books we dream through books finally we achieved our dreams through books is until last moment we read books so in between time period we are passing many milestones when our last moment in our life on hospital bed hmm? so we couldn't use our vehicle or another asset but we can read books uh, as buddhist we read piritpotha so uh, in our last moment hmm? in our life when we then uh, when we are in a hospital bed as buddhist we read piritpotha so christians read special quotation of holy bible and also muslims read holy quran so but we don't know the logical point on that what is the logical point there it's very difficult to define but it has a healing power so we are reading until the last moment so uh, another important thing is bibliotherapy is used to reduce the gap between perception and reality so uh, what is this orange or apple however when we are in a critical situation or unbearable situation hmm, we act like blind person isn't it when we suffer from anxiety anger stress we are unable to see the reality the way we are seen is very important to take correct decisions so when someone asks to describe the elephant from a blind person how will he give a reply that is why bibliotherapy is important to reduce the gap between perceptions and reality types of bibliotherapy here uh, there are two types of bibliotherapy clinical bibliotherapy and developmental bibliotherapy so clinical bibliotherapy is used by medical professionals doctors for special mental health problems such as depression but development bibliotherapy used by parents teachers librarians then the organizations counselors special in educational setting so we can use this to motivate our clients to reduce stress to make strong to build the client attitudes etc again we can divide into four self help bibliotherapy so here we select book materials fictions or non fictions or advisory books whatever we may cover book description okay and the next one is creative bibliotherapy in creative bibliotherapy so we can use many creative ideas under bibliotherapy we can select book fictions or biographical writing selected part from a book or selected quotation from a book then we create many opportunities for our clients we create mirror in task we are discussing this then informal bibliotherapy here we focus on creative bibliotherapy techniques in a unstructured manner there is no formal setting so we can display the recommended or selected books in our library or anywhere in student can go through it to select material so formal bibliotherapy there is a calm environment in trained skillful therapist is there so there are many selected materials books then electronic books listening material audio video materials then when students come to meet us so there is a guidelines we have to follow uh, so uh, then 
in student have it he or she can uh, read start the mirror in process of the bibliotherapy then creative bibliotherapy so uh, it's very nice thing creative bibliotherapy so we can create many opportunities for our clients for example using books or part of a book or selected quotation from a book uh, they have to do role play or uh, first we can tell the story using a book then uh, they are tasked to do a role play so here uh, then they live in characters they are then uh, they try to act then they think what their names what they like then what will happen so they have uh, they are pointing out these characters so when we do these things for group counseling or drug addicted person or team with lack of team working skills when students are in stressful situation so we can use these things okay here we tell the story so they play, uh, play the role play like this the next one drawing in bibliotherapy drawing in bibliotherapy this is a good technique especially for children here also we give selected material or book or part of book or quotation uh, or so then we ask to build a story using pictures then we can ask some questions uh, can you explain this hmm? what you have drawn then uh, uh, then we can ask uh, um, can you remove can i remove this part can i add this part then when he she agree or disagree we can discuss the reason for that so we can ask to make a relationship between the pictures and real life event so then here they can release their pent up emotion here so the next thing imagination in bibliotherapy imagination in bibliotherapy imagination is a good therapy under this under the creative bibliotherapy so there are some advisory book motivational books then after reading material client should prepare a presentation on his life event what is his vision the mission then when we come to the uh, 30 40 60 years after 3 years what he's doing then uh, when he become 30 40 60 70 80 on their life expectation so here he or she can see their future can imagine can build then they can see optional ways here we don't ask this problem or health situation from them so so it's very important to uh, build their future then rewrite your life write in in bibliotherapy write in in bibliotherapy so sometime clients come with unbearable situation death of loved one difficulties just into a new environment difficulties in decision making hmm? feeling suicidal tendency and complain life is not worth i have suicidal thought then that drug addiction as well so then we can ask to write a poem or story or life event then uh, he or she can rewrite their life they will see and identify optional ways so then uh, they can renew their attitudes that is the important thing they can renew their attitude to seen writing in uh, creative bibliotherapy so uh, now we'll see the bibliotherapy journey bibliotherapy process there are three stages identification mirroring then insight mainly we can divide it into three as this initial stage we have to analyze real, real problem what he or she is facing so mirroring in me it's imitating consciously or unconsciously someone's action and attitude 
Here, there is a mirroring process through books. Third, pro third stage, follow up or evaluation process. Again, here, uh, I can divide into five. Identify needs of the client, then select books carefully, then uh, create tasks for mirroring, then design motivational tasks, follow up activities. So then, uh, then what is the real need, issue or matter? His patient is very important. And also, so we have to create many creative mirroring tasks. We have to create, we have to design many motivational tasks. So then uh, using these things, actually, uh, I created, I created a model myself, IMIF. IMIF, I created the model myself. So in initial stage, in initial stage, it's important we have to identify the problem and risk level. Uh, if oh, the very important thing is keep it in your mind. So if he's at higher risk level, we couldn't go with bibliotherapy. That means if he or she tells that life is not worth living, whether we have suicidal thoughts, so I, I cannot live without he or she, however. So if they have that kind of suicidal thought, we should refer them to medical professional immediately. So it's very important in the initial stage. So then, mirroring. So when we understand the situation during the, the initial discussion, we can make a book prescription before that here, the third part of the initial stage, then and only we come to the mirroring. So then according to my experience, normally uh, uh, before, before that, I go to the lending floor in my library with the student. Then uh, first I ask to select a book by himself. Then I can understand so many things relevant to the problem. So then only I make the book prescription for him or her. So, so when we come to the mirroring part, so imitating is available in the books. Okay. So therefore, we have to create homework activities and exercises for mirroring. So it's very important. So initial stage, then mirroring, then side, inside. So we have to think again whether he or she can take insight from using these books. They should have opportunity to get awareness, confidence, problem solving skills as well. So we have to cope with their inner feeling. So finally, follow up or evaluation. So what is mirroring? What is mirroring? Hmm? Mirroring. So uh, mirroring is imitating. Uh, think the reflection of something, the reflection of something. So when you raise your hand in front of mirror, so you see it. Okay, you see it. So after mirroring through books, we can build our confidence, personality with renewed attitudes. Therefore, the mirroring process is very important. So the then I have to share something. So when you read a book, let's imagine it a story of Raman. It's a story of Raman. But when we do mirroring exercises, you automatically identify yourself with Potagan's story. Therefore, there is a direct relationship between mirroring and selecting appropriate material. That is why I included this picture here. This is a popular saying for judging people. However, 
However, same condition is applied under book therapy also. If you judge a book by its cover, you might miss out on an amazing story. It's very true under the book therapy as well. When we select the material or book, so there are several criteria to consider. Think a student comes to meet us with relationship problem, love affair. So if he doesn't like to read any material or books, he has fiction. He, don't, he doesn't like to read uh, another motivational book. He has fiction. Okay. So, so then uh, we give a fiction uh, without carefully selecting. What will happen? Assume said student has a relationship problem such as the love affair. Then uh, when a person who in the book is going, going to commit suicide, what will happen? According to me learning, according to me learning, he may think this is the way, this is the life, this is the thing I should do. Finally, he may be going to commit suicide. Are you agree with me? So, so that is why mirroring and appropriate materials are very important under the bibliotherapy. So now uh, let's move into the mindfulness. Mindfulness in bibliotherapy and creative bibliotherapy. So, what is mindfulness? Mindfulness. Mindfulness is a very popular toy, topic and it has many definitions. Simply, so when you uh, undertake a task, you focus on that. So, when you wash the dishes, wash the dishes. We live in the present moment, not in the future or past. Simply, it is the mindfulness. So, okay, uh, exercises. Shall we do some exercises? Okay. Uh, when we do an exercise using creating bibliotherapy and the uh, and these things, so uh, we can uh, create right perception and mindfulness for us. So what is this picture? You can uh, check with me. Hmm? Uh, what is this picture? What can you see here? How many trees are here? Can you count? Tiger, yes. How many tigers are there? Yeah. Okay. Shall we move to another exercise? Can you give a topic on this picture? What is this? Can you give a topic on this? Okay, within next 30 minutes, an animal jump to in front of you. Can you guess who is it? Hmm? Within next 30 minutes, an animal jump to in front of you. Hurry up. Can you guess who is it? So you can check with me, yes, lion, what else? Hmm? Okay, think uh, this is the first picture in a pictorial story. Can you imagine the second one? What would be the uh, next in the serial? Shall we think? Hmm? 
Hmm? Shall I move to the next? Hmm? So here, how many faces do you see? How many faces do you see? You can count one, two, three, four, the sleeping girl here, then here also. I How many faces are here? See, you can use the chat box. Okay, so then uh, next. Here, uh, can you count how many faces they are uh, both uh, human and uh, animals together? Five. So then uh, I'll move to the next one here. Mm, what is this? Can you give a topic to this? How many persons are there? Uh, then. How many persons are there? One, two, three. One, two, three. Thank you for your replies. Okay. Uh, so then uh, we'll change the picture here. Can you explain this using two sentences? Hmm? Here, then the person, no animal. So, is there a lady or gent? It's a lady or gent. She young or old? She young? What does she do? So then uh, here, uh, how many uh, persons are here? One, two, three, four. So then uh, how many ices are here? Shall we count? Here, one, two, uh, three, sorry, one, two, then three, four, five, six, seven. Because here, uh, this covered, this open. Okay, one, two, then again, three, four, five, six, five, six, seven. Okay. So, when we do these exercises, your mind do not go anywhere. You are here mindfully, isn't it? Hmm? So, uh, that is why the mindfulness in bibliotherapy is very important. So now, mindfulness in bibliotherapy. So focus on your research. Okay. So, uh, uh, now we will turn to our research life. Here also, we can, part, we can uh, practice mindfulness in bibliotherapy. Uh, when we find literature, or read literature, for literature review chapter, we have to read many articles. It may have 
uh, 20 30 pages in an article so when we uh, read the article first we see the topic then abstract uh, then objective as well so when we come to the conclusion part actually we couldn't remember objective so methodology but we have read as it sometime even the topic so think so we have to uh, do it mindfully why am i reading this why do i need this information read it when you need it then catch the last word that you remember when you read so then uh, catch the last sentence that you remember when you read so then think through the pictures okay so here then uh, then uh, take a paragraph from an article then when try to catch the last word that you remember when you read so then take a page catch a last last sentence that you remember when you read so and the, then the think through uh, the pictures so you can close your eyes and make combination between variable see the methodology then you can you can use a summary outline then the concept map uh, then uh, what else and then mind map as well so mind map uh, this designed by tony berser as a tree so then uh, then you can take the main idea uh, so then it can divide into small parts as branches or subdivisions so then uh, you can create your small library according to your subject you uh, then you can classify those so uh, so it is uh, good to have a small library uh, in your home so don't worry about the number of books actually so then you can uh, classify these items according to subject wise then advisory books then positive thinking research fictions then um, non fictions then you can make your uh, book prescription using self help bibliography here so it's very important for your research life then uh, relaxation is the most important thing relaxation is the most important thing in our life so when we are in a relaxed mood we can see the reality so we can uh, reduce the gap between perception and reality so then you are see many path many roads when you are in relax so you can use creative bibliotherapy to relax yourself so to understand the uh, creative bio, creative bibliotherapy and eh? so you can use creative bibliotherapy to relax yourself so then uh, next i am going to uh, discuss very important things internet addiction uh, in internet addiction internet addiction of our children is a burning problem in these days what we are facing as parents so then uh, we can use creative bibliotherapy uh, strategically to avoid this internet addiction creative bibliotherapy so uh, as we know there is a generation gap so this is the our childhood actually we were in however our uh, children don't like to they don't have this opportunity it's not that they are poor so then uh, uh, they don't like move there so however uh, we can use strategies for uh, for them so we can tell story and ask to role play then we can uh, ask to write a poem so we can uh, we can try uh, we can tell to draw a picture using creative bibliotherapy we can uh, make we can create many strategies to uh, avoid this internet addiction so so uh, another strategy so uh, it's very important for us it is bibliotherapy and webotherapy bibliotherapy and webotherapy so webotherapy is the employment of web resources web therapy is the way we use the web resources electronic books electronic material as a 
treatment and bibliotherapy so here also the same procedure identify and analyze the client's need then selection of appropriate web sources then presentation of web sources carefully and strategically then evaluation so uh, whether it is success okay so next thing is uh, bibliotherapist prescription here uh, so then uh, here we can go and try to book prescription so when we go to see a doctor according to the symptom doctor write a prescription so so when we have same symptom but doctor doesn't write the same prescription here also in the same concept applied so here then uh, the doctor see the background factors history the physical fitness so many things so as well we can't write the same prescription for our client so uh, then uh, then we have to consider so many things here so it's depend on so many things for example if client are in stress situation we have to analyze the reason nature of matter okay then what is the stage they are passing stress level as i mentioned earlier so if we are at the higher risk level we cannot go with bibliotherapy so we have to refer the medical doctor immediately so then their age then uh, the patient interest in reading areas so then they are reading pattern and behavior so uh, these uh, these things are very important so uh, then when consider their interest in reading areas so whether they like to read printed materials or electronic materials or audio video material so we have to consider these things so there are many book on prescription services in foreign countries okay so here so before that uh, prescriber handbook so uh, shall i click on the prescriber handbook so it will open so read in well uh, books on prescription here you can see the guidelines what's the patient does what's the prescriber does so guidelines the sit for clinical evidence clearly support the value of the books on prescription approach so it's a very important here so then as well there are many guidelines in foreign university libraries and foreign countries so here then uh, shall i click on the call list reading well books on prescriptions call list then uh, there are many uh, list of items books on prescription in foreign countries let's see uh, these are the symptoms according to title author and publisher so anger anxiety so then there are uh, uh, many symptoms list out here panic phobia self esteem then social phobia sleep problems stress worry okay shall i copy this how to worry how to uh, how to stop worrying how to stop worrying so actually this is the level of my professor nail he is a clinical psychologist in england uh, now shall we visit our library to check whether this books are available for then how to worry how to stop worrying so okay okay then there are many books relevant to this how to stop worrying del carnegie start living okay uh, 
uh, book is available in our library also you can find it so then uh, what next shall we see uh, what are the available sinhala books for the stress management or the aathati kalamanakarni we will see okay so there are many books relevant to stress management also so uh, then uh, it's very important these services here uh, so uh, books on prescription here you can see there are many list read in well book list uh, for adults mental health read in well book list for young people so then read in well book list for children then uh, read in well book list for uh, long term condition book list for dementia so then uh, book list for career so there are many book uh, book list are available here so here e prescriptions also they are so then uh, when we uh, click on here uh, will open okay this is the books on prescriptions okay so uh, then okay then what this research say about about bibliotherapy it's very important so bibliotherapy is an umbrella term for related ideas for using books to help uh, help with mental and psych physical health problem and also uh, so it's very important for covid patients and cancer patients here you can see there are some articles i have cited there is a wealth of evidence that support that support uh, for the uh, delivery of bibliotherapy for a host of mental health disorders such as depression and anxiety so then helping people to cope with diagnosis and treatment this is especially true with conditions like cancer which have a significant emotional impact on patients and their families so uh, then here uh, there is a, a article 2020 uh, so bibliotherapy reading of it during covid so published 2020 so ovid is a latin poet so it's a very uh, nice one actually so here uh, so the researchers have developed a book collection for covid patients then here you can go through these books uh, book list it's very important so then uh, the next one so uh, bibliotherapy for covid and cancer patients here then the uh, this article for the cancer patients acceptability of bibliotherapy for patients with cancer a qualitative descriptive study so here so then uh, you can see there is a book list here also for the cancer patient this is also very important article published in 2016 so uh, then uh, i uh put in my presentation to share my knowledge uh, under the covid and the cancer patient okay so uh so uh actually uh, when i was suffering from covid it was an unbearable situation for me uh, with my severe health condition i'm happy to tell you bibliotherapy helped to cure and recover so uh, another story of cancer patient uh, see uh, actually she was suffering from cancer when i was uh, in home she was maharagam hospital so uh, it was chemotherapy period actually i didn't ask her health situation i gave these two books and asked call me after five days but uh, she didn't call me then i called her after uh, 10 days and asked the situation so she said that she felt uh, she recovered in her mind and body after starting the reading of these books so i'm very happy to mention this that is why i included uh, these books so uh, then the first book 
rewrite your life so here uh, then uh, actually it's a very important how to rewrite our life event then then uh, rewrite our life and second one it discusses the power of subconscious mind now actually can you believe the patient has recovered according to her uh, according to her there is a tremendous healing power on bibliotherapy so uh, so then uh, actually uh, these days i'm preparing a list for cancer patients then book prescription for cancer patients so then uh, so that is why included here then uh, finally healing with literature so uh, here uh, we can see uh, then reading writing drawing so we cannot limit into the reading okay so the under the healing so bibliotherapy is the, uh, actually uh, it's a therapeutic therapeutic method based on book so it's a journey it's not limited to reading uh, it's it's a reading writing drawing listening all aspect are there then uh, mirroring process also there it's very important mirroring imitating then it goes to inside finally it heals us so then uh, okay so it's not the end finally i want to share a small story so it's a very popular story so there was a little boy he was suffering from hungry and he was uh, he was given a fish by men to eat but he didn't take the fish and said don't give me a fish but teach me to catch a fish if i learn to catch a fish i will not need your fish therefore you can learn this mechanism to heal with yourself so then uh, please contact me if you need any help my email addresses are available so uh, thank you so much and uh, so So if you have any questions or comment so i'll check the chat box thank you um, i think uh, yes with that uh, you can even open up uh, unmute yourself and uh, you can even ask the question or post a question on the chat i'm pretty sure but if i may start the questions uh, may i ask one question now we have this situation of uh, people resisting reading totally do you have a way of getting people to at least start reading a book uh, yes sir any any prescription for that okay that once you start a, i mean start yeah. a, a book and you don't want to stop reading that any 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 uh, prescription uh, list for that uh the the thing is uh, actually when we consider foreign countries there are many book prescription but according to my experience uh, but it's better if we have that kind of uh, book prescription on service actually these days i am uh, preparing a book list for the cancer patient but the thing is uh, initial discussion is very needed because uh, for, that's only we can understand the situation and the problem what they are facing so because uh, we cannot say then when someone asks is this good for the uh, this problem we cannot say think so uh, then uh, when we, we all are in a stressful situation so, but the re reasons are different so then uh, as when we uh, see a doctor so then when he, uh, they uh, uh, normally uh, they don't uh, write the same medical prescription for all patients because they consider the health situation history background the physical physical fitness so many things as well uh, here in the initial discussion we have to identify the uh, the reasons the 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 level they are passing the risk level so many things however uh, in 
this moment there is lack of uh, uh, this kind of book prescription service uh, services in sri lanka uh, but uh, we we'll hope to uh, create in near future thank you any other question any question Anyone? Just like to come up with a question? Are you sufficiently swayed to read more books? When do you hope to come up with this um, the list for cancer? Uh, so, uh, actually, I uh, think uh, uh, so. Uh, before that, uh, actually, I have to discuss some cancer patients. Uh, now I uh, discuss uh, with uh, five, six uh, patients. So then, uh, hope to continue in. Is uh, yes, sir. So when you say this prescription list, um, I mean, like how many books would be there? In one? Let's say whether it's ten books or five books or what's that's a number likely to be in a usual prescription. Uh, it's, it's depends, sir. Uh, it's depends because then uh, the follow up session is uh, going on. Then here we uh, we see the evaluation and whether is it enough or not, and then the uh, the direction. Uh, so accordingly, we can give another book prescriptions me sometime. Uh, so uh, it depends. Sir. Cannot say track number, but but then when come to the foreign uh, libraries, so if they have some uh, the some uh, track number three books for uh, three weeks as well. So then, but in Sri Lankan culture, according to my experience, I think. Uh, we couldn't do it. Uh, then, however, we have to limit it. But uh, then, uh, as a treatment, uh, we cannot say it. So. As a comment on the chat, uh, if you can check. Yes, Doctor Nayani. Yes, madam. I, I, I have I have a sim simple question. Now yes. you said that after you have given a kind of a list of books. Uh, the patient get uh, fully recovered. So, mm -hmm. how did you measure the recovery of the patient? Yeah, how did you measure? Uh, actually, the the thing is actually uh, uh, the madam. So then, uh, then how how we know he is uh, in a uh, in poor uh, the the poor health condition? That is the way. the thing is. So in initial discussion, we asked the the matters and the health situation these things. So uh, during this counseling process, the bibliotherapy process, uh, in the evaluation process and the uh, follow-up activities, we ask them how can you feel, and then we uh, there is a checklist to check whether they are, are recovering or not, or then uh, here we can ask it. So in the in my case, so then yeah, the, the, I, the person, I say there's a cancer patient, or then uh, after three weeks, after four weeks, after uh, then after one month, two one, I called and asked the situation. That is why uh, I cited that case here. So it's like a qualitative assessment, no? It's a qualitative assessment. Yes, because madam, yeah, yeah, because madam, we couldn't go for the clinical uh, bibliotherapy. Uh, uh, we can for a uh, development okay. uh, or an uh, creative bibliotherapy. Ah, uh, okay. We don't have that much of knowledge. Actually, yes. better if we can uh, uh, take uh, the 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 ideas of medical professionals when we uh, when uh, we uh, uh, prescription. It is the actually best way. Yes, I think you can you can develop this uh, therapy uh, with uh, with get the support from the doctors as well. No, 
yes yes ah, okay thank you so much it is very interesting study i think you can comment on what's on the chat as well from uh -huh. Tushar. Uh, I have seen in extracts of the literature are sent to patient to read as a therapeutic method by medical practitioners. Well, yeah, because then uh, there is a um, uh, there is a clinical bibliotherapist there. So here, uh, as counselors or as librarian, uh, we couldn't use the clinical bibliotherapy, but actually uh, the doctors are practicing this. Yes. Can you ask one last question? So, uh, I, I can see uh, so, so, uh, here uh, then uh, video is open. Uh, so, is it... Well, I uh, <laughs> it's, it's very, very um, beautiful experience, you know, to see you presenting this type of uh, very interesting, psychologically important. Uh, discussion. Uh, actually, while you were presenting this, I was thinking of uh, the uh, essential uh, readings that Buddhists and Hindus have in their religions, right? Because this bibliotherapy, even though it wasn't used uh, as much as we do it today, but in ancient times, as there was a scarcity of material to produce uh, multiple copies of books, but uh, people in the East, right, uh, were using uh, bibliotherapy, right, in the sense that they present uh, patients to read certain books, right. Uh, I say this because I have read one uh, Pakistan, uh, Persian writer, Nasrat Persiskian, if I remember the name correct, that he sort of was a psychologist and a counselor too. He, as a psychologist, is presently using uh, making patients to read stories. Uh, taken from Indian literature, because most of the Indian literature actually was uh, done by writers who were in sort of close connection with royal families, and some royal families had problems with their children, like present-day ministers have problems with their children. <laughs> so those days, they were asking learned people, for instance, one example is Vishnu Sharma, uh, who wrote Panchatantra. And like that, there were certain, you know, uh, not professional bibliotherapists, but it was most probably the sort of basic uh, idea that you have presently as bibliotherapy, right? They used uh, in order to sort of heal people who had a lot of, uh, you know, various mental diseases, actually. So this is mostly, I think, bibliotherapy is very useful in, when you sort of um, have to handle mental patients. Uh, and when, actually, the, there are mental factors behind cancer. Right. For instance, I remember Chandra, Professor Chandrayarth of Columbia University telling me that he had a patient who was suffering from uh, cancer and he was pre predicted to die very in six months time by doctors. But then he happened to talk to this person and he found out that the reason why he had this cancer is that he's jealous. Right. He was he was jealous about a rival competitor. And so he found out that if he can convince this person that he should wipe out all his, you know, uh, bad thoughts against uh, the other businessmen. So he was a businessman and they, they were competitors. So he met the other uh, businessman who was being hated by this fellow and made them friends. And then he made uh, him, uh, the patient read books on loving kindness, right? Because there are so many loving kindness books uh, developed by Western psychologists today, because uh, they have what, what you call MBSR, mindfulness-based stress reduction. So for that, they have produced some literature and Chandra Jayaratna managed to provide some literature to this person also. And so he recovered from his cancer and lived for another five years. He died not because of cancer, because of another health complication that which was beyond uh, our friend's uh, you know, uh, control. Uh, somehow so, 
this is a very important thing that you presented. It really sort of enlightened me for an area where I had not much interest. So it's beautiful. Uh, and it's, it really brings again the importance of reading for generally for people also. Thank you very much. Very nice uh, presentation. Thank you so much, sir. When I was a student at the University of Sri Javardhan for years, the uh, vice chancellor, as uh, Professor Chan, uh, Chandim Vijay Bandar. So thank you so much for your. Thank you. I think with that, I think it's a good point to end. Um, so um, we have come to a end of another session. And uh, for those who have missed, we have, we'll have the up recording uploaded. So finally, uh, Dr. Naini, uh, thank you very much for taking time and uh, preparing and presenting, quite important. And let's hope uh, this will open up some minds uh, to this very important area and they'll benefit from some of these concepts.